Bugsters. For the next 24 hours and 24 hours only, I am doing a huge sell on my first gen merch. Go to my website and enter in code FLOP. It's gonna be placed right here and you can get 20% off all my shirts while supplies last. So you guys, make sure you go do that right flipping now. Good morning, Bugsters. Once again, it is your boy Bug and I am bringing you guys another crazy video today. Look at how my day is starting today. You know, just chilling on the roof, looking over that pool view in beautiful Lake Havasu, Arizona. I mean, what else could I ask for right now? I just want to start off by saying thank you to everyone that has clicked on this video. I really appreciate everyone's support and I just, I love you all so much. My channel is growing extremely, extremely fast and it wouldn't be happening if it wasn't for all of you guys. So again, thank you. Okay, I got a quick message for all of you. I wanna make sure every single one of you that watch this video, you're all smiling, you're all having a great day because you know, tomorrow is never promised. This could be our last. So make sure you're living it to the fullest, you know. Go out there, chase your dreams, chase your goals, stay on that grind and do what you love to do and just enjoy life and always have fun, never take it too serious. So I am sorry that it has been a couple days since I have posted again on my channel. For those of you that did not know, I've been in Lake Havasu City in Arizona, just relaxing, chilling with the family for over this whole Thanksgiving break. And you know, I just wanted to spend a lot of good family time, so that's why I've not put out a video, but you know, I'm putting out one for you guys today. As you can all tell, there's this giant, giant, humongous garage behind me. And that garage, well technically the house is attached to the garage is what I like to say. But I feel like I need to give you guys a little tour of where I've been staying. And then after that, we're gonna talk about my truck just a little bit. All right, so this is the house we have been staying at. You know, we got the trucks in the driveway. My dad drove this one, and then I have drove this one because our family's pretty big. And then. We have this giant humongous garage that is attached to this other pretty big garage. And then we have my, you know, grandpa's newer power stroke in here, their little commuter bug. And then we have this beast, which is my grandpa's basically drag car. This thing is extremely quick. And you know what? If you guys want to see a video on this car while I'm down here, make sure you go down below in the comments and just say, hey, we want to see a video on that Chevelle. And you know, maybe I can get my grandpa to pull this car out and maybe fry the tires on it, we'll have to see. But yeah, this, this car will run the quarter mile in like, just right, barely over 10 seconds, so it is a super quick car. And then, you know, they got their Razor for all the trail riding in Arizona. And then we got the whole squadron spikes chilling everywhere. And then we have their other boat, my grandpa's motorcycle, their motorhome, and my dad's 47 foot fountain, it all fits and this entire garage. Like, can you guys believe that, how big this is? This boat right here is 47 feet long. Just to give you an idea of how big this garage is, it's insane. In all honesty, if this is not your garage goals, what what is? Like, th things like this is what make me wanna work hard every day, put out great content for you guys, and to hope someday I have a huge garage like this to where I can do great videos in it, we can work on stuff late at night and just do a bunch of crazy fun projects. So, you know, I always talk to you guys about chasing your goals and your dreams. One of my goals and dreams is to have a house like this with a garage this big and you know, I'm gonna chase it and I'm gonna keep doing it until I achieve it. And I want all of you guys to do the exact same thing with your dreams and your goals. And again, if you guys wanna see a video on my grandpa's Chevelle, I, I will make it happen and he will too. So if we get enough comments and likes on this video down below on of you guys saying you wanna see a video on the Chevelle, it, it will happen and this thing rips. This car is known as the tire fryer. It's got a trans brake, line lock, it's geared, it's got like a 700 horsepower engine. Uh, it's just, this thing is an animal. So if you guys wanna see a video on it, again, Go let me know down below in the comments. But now that you have got to see a little bit of the paradise I've been staying at for the last couple days, you know, the garage and the pool and the house, all that fun stuff. Now I gotta talk to you guys about what's going on with my Cummins. It's not, it's not the best news. Clifford, the big red Dodge, has, uh, you know, it's gotten into me a little bit of trouble over the last day or so. Coming from, you know, Salt Lake City, Utah, all the way down to Lake Havasu, Arizona. You know, it's quite the drive. And on the drive down here, my worst fear happened. Not my worst fear, but something 
that I never want to happen, it happened. Those of you right now are like, bug, oh my gosh, what happened? Well, the check engine light popped on Clifford halfway down to Arizona from Utah, and I put in the code reader and it's not too good. So for those of you that, you know, are somewhat familiar with newer diesels or aren't too much. Well, these newer diesels, they have to be emissions compliant and they have this EGR crap on these trucks which suffocates them. It's stupid to begin with and I plan on tearing it out, but the EGR system on Clifford is throwing a code. The truck is still running and performing okay, but it keeps throwing a check engine code which is just super annoying and you know, I'm not about it because Stuff like that, it just really bugs me, and you know, I just bought the truck a few weeks ago, and it's already throwing codes, but luckily it's just something stupid, such as the EGR, which I plan on tearing out very soon. I'm sure a lot of you right now are like, Bug, where's the exhaust video? You've been saying you're going to do this exhaust video, 5-inch, yada, yada, yada. Well, I'm in Arizona, the exhaust is in Utah, so that's why I have not put that video out yet. When I get back, that's going to be happening, so make sure you stay tuned, because, ooh, Clifford... It's going to be one loud puppy with that 5-inch exhaust from the turbo all the way back. Now that I told you about the check engine light coming on, Clifford, you know, all because of the EGR, which the truck is still running okay, it's going to get fixed because I'm going to take the EGR completely off and get it tuned soon right after the exhaust. So I'm not too worried about that, but I also have more bad news about Clifford, you guys. Well, I know it was about eight and a half hours from Salt Lake to Havasu. Well... Me and my dad, you know, we were cooking. We were pulling the whole shake and bake, Ricky Bobby, Talladega Nights thing. Shake and bake. You know, we're zooming in at traffic. We're making really good time. We're getting about halfway, okay? Next thing you know, I see good old red, white, and blue flashing in my rear view mirror. Your boy Buggy, he got pulled over for his first time in the new Cummins. And you guys... It's really stupid what I got pulled over for. I mean, at least two of the things. One of the things I deserve. So, like I mentioned, I got pulled over for speeding. Me and my dad both got pulled over. That was all on my fault. Me getting pulled over for that was my own actions. If I don't want to get pulled over for speeding, I shouldn't have been speeding. But, you know, we were making really good time. It doesn't bother me. I'm not upset that I got pulled over. It is what it is. But I was doing 94, and that ended up being a $150 ticket just for that, and I'll show you the, the ticket in just a little bit, because there's a lot more that got added, added on to the ticket, not just speeding. And all of my videos were, we have my dad's truck and he has the mud flaps on the back. All the time people are like, oh wow, those mud flaps are so ugly, or dude, why do you have those mud flaps on the truck? It looks hideous. Yes, you are all correct, 100%. The mud flaps look so stupid on the truck, but in the state of Utah, they are so freaking strict on mud flaps, and fender flares and I got nailed for it on the way down here. But like I mentioned, I get pulled over, he tickets me for speeding, which like I said, you know, that was my fault. And then he's like, all right, sir, um, your tires are hanging out way too far and you don't have your mud flaps. And I was like, dude, come on, you know, it's Thanksgiving, we're going down to spend time with some family, just give me the speeding ticket. And let's, let's just forget about all the other stuff. Nope, Utah Highway Patrol got me for speeding, mud flaps, and violation. So, yeah, I, I wasn't lying, you guys. They really got me, and it's so freaking dumb that they got me for the fender flares and mud flaps. And no, he didn't even give me a fix-it ticket. I just have to pay it, which sucks, but you know, I guess it's better than having to throw on some stupid flares and some ugly mud flaps. My ticket ended up costing $250 all from Clifford and you know, me driving a little bit fast. Again, I said that's all my fault and I even told the officer like I wasn't trying to bull anything like, yep, that's my fault. You know, I was being cool with him. I always am. I respect cops. It, it is what it is. It's life. I pay it. We move on and you know, we learn from our mistakes. Am I going to put mud flaps? and fender flares on my truck. Uh, I really don't want to, but we'll just, we'll just have to see. We'll give it some time, and if I get harassed again fairly soon, I just will just, so I don't have to keep getting harassed, but yeah. And I just spilled to all of you all the bad news, you know, that's Clifford, that's happened with Clifford, but you know, I got some good news, I guess. Your boy Bug copped him some Gucci flip-flops, so that's dope. Nah, <laughs> I'm just playing, but really, I just, 
I'm out in Havasu having a good time, spending some lots of time with family, and but I knew all of the bugsters. You're all so video hungry, and you guys are the best fans on YouTube. I couldn't be more grateful for you guys. And you know, the Thanksgiving holiday is all about being grateful, thankful, and I just want to take a minute, and I just truly, I don't, I say this at the beginning, at the end of every single video. I am so thankful for the bugsters the ones that watch my videos, the ones that leave great likes and comments. I truly am so, so thankful for all of you. If it was not for you guys, I would not make videos. I wouldn't take the time away from family to make videos, but I just love you all so much, and that's why I'm doing it, and that's why I'm going to keep doing it. Th again, thank you all. But other than, you know, my check engine light coming on for the EGR and me getting a fat ticket from Utah Highway Patrol, it is what it is all around. This has been a great, amazing little family vacation so far, and I'm not going to let it ruin me. But I wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on in my life right now because, you know, that's pretty much what vlogs are. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you go down and smash a like on this video. Go like, 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 like. And leave me a comment if you guys want to see a video on my grandpa's Chevelle. Go down and let me know in the comments. And if you have any other things you want to see videos on in this garage, just let me know. But other than that, I will see you all next time. Again, like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I will see you again. Peace.